Well, good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, you have the Rhino, and we're looking at some beers. The beers are back behind me, boys and girls. So we're going to start with a Niagara College beer. This one worries me a little bit, just... Just, uh, so this is a Niagara College small batch brew, so it's a student project. It is a sweet oatmeal stout at 3.9% alcohol by volume. Now, I like my Irish stouts, I like my oatmeal stouts. I do appreciate when they're under 5% alcohol, but a sweet oatmeal stout at 3.9 just worries me just a tiny bit. Because, well, it just does. I mean, I would have expected a little bit more if it's a... Maybe maybe you crash cooled it early. Maybe you didn't let it ferment very long. Maybe you back sweetened it with lactose or something like that. I don't know what you did, but a sweet oatmeal stout at 3.9 worries me just a little bit. But at the same time, it excites me because I like the lower ABV beers. So if this is really good, I'm awesome with that. Um, because this is just a regular small batch brew, I don't know what student did it or anything. Um, like these ones, the student brews for the for the beer festival say who did them these ones do not uh so yeah 3.9 percent alcohol sweet oatmeal stout let our class fill your glass beer and education a pairing that has been fermenting for generations we put our heads together to craft something truly unique the niagara college teaching brewery just like our beer it's the only one of its kind and uh yeah drink responsibly blah 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 so I do like, I've always asked that the student's name be put on the beers. So I like that with like these ones, they started doing that. I just wish they would do it with these ones as well. Um, but that's just me being me. Uh, just because, you know, you want to be able to have a conversation with the student afterwards. Whether you like the beer or not, you want to be able to say, hey, that beer was awesome. Or, hey, that beer wasn't my style and this is why. Uh, just to be able to communicate with who it was. But I understand other reasons too, you know, privacy, you don't want to get, you know, because there are crazy people that will harass you. They'll harass you for making a beer they don't like. Fuck, people harass me for not liking certain beers. Oh my God, you didn't like Axe Head. You're a fucking idiot. I'm going to run you over with my truck. I'm a 300 pound man. I'll do some damage to your truck. Just, just saying. Love the head on that though. Big, beautiful, bold head. Um... That is a muddy looking beer. I mean, it's it looks black as the black blood of the earth on the camera, but here it is very, very just murky, deep brown. I love that the head has like the Duvel slash Orval like tunnels being made. Lots of snap, crackle, pop, sent out of the glass. A mm, little bit of chocolate, a little bit of caramel, a little bit of coffee. Smells normal out of the glass, out of the can. You know what? The can actually smells the same as well, which is something I'm a little surprised by, but um, not totally turned off by, I guess is the best way to say it. So I did, I had a viewer respond that, you know, I just don't have, I don't seem to have the, I'm just letting the head die down, so we'll do a little bit of talk here. I mean, we're, we're at two minutes, so we're longer than usual right now, so it'll probably be a five or six minute video then. But that I don't seem to have the passion I used to have anymore because you know my videos used to be ten minutes long and we talked about the label and we talked some back history on the beer. You're right, we I did do that a lot. Um, I also usually had somebody here with me to talk to, which made the video take longer, or people behind the camera to talk to, which made the video take longer. Also, viewers don't seem to want the ten, fifteen, twenty minute videos they want shorter videos like these six minute videos are the ones that usually get viewed least less than least less than the two or three minute videos you know just quick wham 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 but you're also right that i don't put as much time into the videos as i used to there's no editing or anything anymore uh, when i first started this this was a way to do something that i enjoyed but also to get away from my ex-wife because we had a horrible horrible toxic relationship i was depressed i was I was suicidal, I had a lot of things going on, and it just got my mind off of a lot of things. So I would throw lots of time into it now. I'm happy, I'm where I want to be, I have my kids to take care of, uh, I have a job that has me busy quite often, and though I don't have much more to do because I'm in the Arctic now, I, I spend more of my time with my kids and with my dogs and editing videos and all that. So yeah, the head's died down, let's try it, cheers. Hmm. 
It's 3.9% alcohol, so this mouthfeel makes sense, but at the same time it's weird because it's an oatmeal stout. It should be hefty, it should be mm, in your mouth, it should just take it over. It doesn't. It's very light, it's, it's a little thin, as Paul from PA Brew News used to say. And um, other than that, there is a sweet flavor to it, and the sweet flavor mixes with that oatmeal, it mixes mixes with the coffee, it mixes with the chocolate, it makes almost like a sopping wet, soaky, soggy uh, rye bread type of flavor back there. And it almost has like a touch of cinnamon. So like a touch of cinnamon, a soaky, soggy rye bread, coffee, caramel, a little light. Carbonation does dance on your tongue. All in all, this is actually a solid. My dogs obviously aren't listening to my wife. Uh, this is a solid beer. I actually really enjoy this. I was scared going into it because, you know, sweet oatmeal stout at 3.9% alcohol scared me a little bit, like I said. But solid, solid beer. Out of 10 on this, I would probably give this a 775. I would go out and buy this. I would, if this was sitting on the shelf, I would go out and buy it. And that 3.9% alcohol, you can drink more than one of them. You can drink more than two of them. You can drink more than four of them. Hell, you give me something under under 6% alcohol, and I can drink like 10 of them in a night and still be able to do whatever I want to do. Um, other than drive, but I, that's not because I don't drink and drive. I don't drink and drive, but that's not because I, I'm going to get behind a wheel. I'm blind. I can't do that. But, you know, my, my wife wants me to perform or something. 10 beer, I'm still good. As long as it's under 6% alcohol, it's over. Oh, no, no. Anyway, yeah, 775. I do like this beer. Thank you, guys. Au revoir. I'll be in See you soon. Bye-bye. Mwah.